Hey everyone, uh, apologies I haven't had time to shave my head or anything lately, um, <laughs> but I did have time to go to uh, Total Wine and More, it's a chain of stores down here that sell wine and some beers you can't find in other places. Um, anyway, so there was an article, I hesitate to call it an article, it's really more of an advertisement, but an article in USA Today about a beer that the manufacturer of it was claiming it could actually quench thirst. Um, I found that interesting, because as we all know, alcohol dehydrates you. So, I wasn't sure that a beer could quench your thirst. I mean, if people drink alcohol, it's for the taste, or to lower social inhibitions, or to get lit. Uh, <laughs> no one drinks alcohol to be hydrated. No, you're, it's not like you're drinking water or even Gatorade. Uh, but the idea of a beer that could hydrate you seemed interesting, since people like drinking beer in the summer. I like drinking beer in the summer. Well, I like drinking beer anyway. But, um, so the name of this beer was Sea Quench Ale, um, from Dogfish uh, Head, which I, I see in a lot of stores, as far as a craft beer manufacturer goes. Um, sequential, I, I would think, but uh, apparently it's just Sea Quench, because it has a lot of sea salt in it, but it appears to be a Sour beer with uh, lime juice, lime peel, black limes, and sea salt. The sea salt itself makes you think maybe it won't quench your thirst, but there's salt in Gatorade, so it, that helps hydrate you, assuming that you've been active. I always feel thirsty after Gatorade, though, too, so I don't know. Uh, anyway, I thought I would uh, take this. Uh, the, the box it came in recommended I drink it out of a pint glass, but fuck it, I'm just going to drink it right from the can. I usually only buy beer in bottles, but this was the only one available. They only had one thing left of it at the store, so let's see how it is. Hmm. Uh, it just kind of smells like a, like a Corona or Rolling Rock or one of those type. Oh, I, sh I should have mentioned uh, the alcohol on this is very low. It's, um, it's only like 4 point something, 4.9, which is fairly low for a beer, usually... Um, if I drink a regular beer, it's usually maybe six or a little bit higher. A light beer is usually somewhere in the five area, I think. So this is actually, it also doesn't have much alcohol in it. That might help with the quenching. Uh, but yeah, let's uh, see how it is. Yeah, it's... um. It's light. It does have sourness, so it has a bit more of a kick, because a lot of times light beer can just taste like it's watery, or it's um, just not much there. Uh, like it's like a watered-down liquid pretzel kind of thing, but because it has the sourness, but it's not overwhelming. It's not like you're drinking a gimlet or something where it's just lime juice hits you. It certainly doesn't have as much alcohol as a gimlet. Gimlet is made with gin. But, um... But at least, yeah, the sourness helps compensate for it not being too watery for a lighter beer. Um, yeah, it's still pretty watery, but it's still... The lime with the sour gives it a bit of a kick. It's sort of, um... If you were drinking a... If you were drinking a sour lime version of, like, Pellegrino or Perrier lime, um, except better than that because those always taste like palm olive dish soap. So, yeah, it's still maybe a bit too light for, for where I'm going, for where I'm coming from, but I suppose if there were more alcohol in it, um, it wouldn't quench your thirst, as this claims to. I mean, I don't know, I'll find out if I'm, like, still thirsty in 30 minutes. I mean, it's not too sour, so if you're someone who doesn't like sour beers, um, it's not that that sour. It's it's You can definitely handle it. Um, I haven't had many sour. I had a sour, I think a sour blood orange beer that um, Casey, who I used to work with, had uh, given me once. And um, I didn't really like the orange flavor. I liked the sour part of it. This isn't as sour as that was, but it's kind of nice enough of a kick. I mean... I mean, this would be good to drink at like a on the beach or a summer party. It's that kind of thing. It's kind of the kind of beer I'd order on Block Island if uh, I were still back in the Rhode Island area, 
or the Outer Banks if I had someone to go with and would drive there, which I do not. Either one. There. I could lift it. Uber. I don't know. Yeah, so, I mean, I like it. I'd buy it again. I wouldn't necessarily go out of my way to buy it again, but if I saw it in the store, I'd still get it, because, yeah, it tastes good. It has a nice little sour thing. It's pretty light. It's, you know, it's good. It's not, it's not knocking me away like, whoa, that's a delicious beer or anything, but, yeah, I like it. I mean, not sure if it will actually quench my thirst, but it's good.